Welcome to the world of trig. We're going to begin by talking about the graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, so let's start with the most important thing. We never use degrees. Have your calculator in radians. It's radians all the way, people. All the way. People will fight it, but Jen, what about? No, no. In calculus, we rarely, rarely, rarely use degrees. It's radians all day long. Okay, so you could graph all of these in Desmos. Um, so y equals sine x, y equals cosine x, y equals tan x. But um, I want to just give you uh, the gist of it. So for sine x, okay, it's got a period of 2 pi. And typically when we draw, we draw from 0, x is 0, to 2 pi. Okay, so halfway would be pi. Halfway in between that is pi halves. And this is 3 pi halves. Okay, so these are going to be our four points. Sine um, and cosine both have an amplitude of 1. So they'll only go as tall as positive 1 and as tall as a negative 1. All right, so the sine graph looks like this lovely picture. So it goes 0, up, 0, down, 0, connect the dots, bada boom. Okay, now it's going to keep repeating forever. So it'll Keep going, keep going, keep going, okay? All right, so some important things about uh, sine x is that the domain is everything, so it's always continuous, and the range in this current form is negative one to one. I say current form because you can obviously change the range if you have coefficients out front, it'll change the amplitude and you can shift it and all that kind of stuff. But this is it in its original state. Okay, let's talk about cosine. Cosine is very similar. It's basically just the sine graph that's been shifted. So here, again, we're gonna start with um, zero, pi, two pi, Halfway in between three pi halves, halfway in between pi halves. Okay. It also uh, has an amplitude of one. Okay. This one's different. It's going to start up at one, go down, keep going down, and then return. So its graph looks like that. Okay. And again, it keeps going. So it'll keep going this way, it'll keep going this way. All right, so its domain, it's also continuous everywhere. And the range, again, in the original form is negative one to one. Cosine, sine, beautiful. All right, let's talk tangent. For tangent, you've got some problems. And the reason why you got some problems is because tangent can be rewritten as a uh, fraction right? Tangent is sine over cosine. So what happens is that since tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine, we're going to have problems every time this guy is zero. Every time this is zero, we're going to have a problem. So let's look at our graph. It's zero at pi halves. It's zero again at three pi halves. So what's going to happen is that we're going to have vertical asymptotes at x equals plus and minus pi halves, plus and minus three pi halves, plus and minus five pi halves, so all the odd pi halves. And yes, I know how to write odd pi halves in a cute way, but we'll just leave it that way, okay? So what happens is that when I go ahead and graph this tangent graph, um, so over here at pi halves, we're gonna have an asymptote over here at 3 pi halves, we'll have another one. If I go backwards, I'll have one at negative pi halves, and then it'll just keep going. Okay. What it looks like in between is it actually looks a lot like the cubic graph. So it goes like this and this. So that is the tangent. And over here at pi is where it crosses, and it goes like this and like this. And it just keeps repeating. So its period is actually only pi. But what you really need to know is for tangent, so this is the tangent graph, what you need to know is because cosine equals zero is bad and we know when the cosine is zero, this is when we're going to have all of our problems. Okay. Um, so our domain, our domain is screwed up. Our domain has problems everywhere there. 
So domain is going to be basically from negative pi halves to pi halves, union pi halves to 3 pi halves, union, so following that pattern. And the range actually is everything because um, it's going to go as far down negative and as tall um, positive as we want it to go. All right, sine, cosine, tangent, done. Let's go talk about the other three.